What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on SoFi stock. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, and I've told you that we have consistently lower lows and lower highs from the end of March. And uh, right here I've told you that uh, I don't see any signs uh, of uh, potential trend reversal. This means uh, at that point I've told you that uh, you shouldn't enter your swing trade position without uh, confirmation of a new trend. But uh, from the investor standpoint, uh, I've told you that the range is below $8 mark uh, is a very attractive uh, for the long-term investors. Because even Anthony Noto, the CEO of this company, uh, bought recently bought these, uh, the shares of uh, his own company with a price of roughly $8.6. As you can see right here, $8.62, uh, then uh, 8.94 and so on and so forth. This means uh, the range uh, below $8 mark is very attractive from the fundamental standpoint. And I have to say that we are approaching uh, two major deadlines. First of all, definitely will be the Federal Reserve's uh, meeting and it will take place on May 4th and basically on May 3rd and 4th and uh, the results uh, I think will be on May the 4th. And uh, right here, they will publish their earnings report and it will take place on May the 10th. And uh, definitely these are two major points uh, where we might see huge volatility and potential trend reversal. But I will show you uh, some details in my technical analysis and for now let's continue with the fundamental news. And first of all, let me show you this article. We are on Yahoo Finance and this article was published on April 26th and it's titled Online figures look promising ahead of earnings. And let me quote you this. From Q4 2021 to Q1 2022, total inquisitors uh, have increased by 52%, from uh, 20.4 million uh, to 31 million. And compared to last year, the growth is even more impressive, 417%. And definitely these numbers are really impressive because recently they acquired uh, another company, Technosys, and I covered it in, my, in one of my previous videos. And uh, this company, this... Uh, Acquisition allows SoFi to drastically increase their user base in Latin America. And basically you all know that recently President Joe Biden prolonged uh, the federal student loan payment moratorium until the end of August and probably it will uh, last even for the end of this year. And Whitbush analyst uh, David Ciorini says the extension represents a, te a temporary headwind. The analyst sees plenty of reasons uh, to stay upbeat. He writes, increasing brand presence should drive member growth. Its integrated technology platform, Galileo, is a competitive advantage that allows for seamless cross-buying experience aimed at a digitally native younger cohort. It has strong unit economics across its products. We expect credit quality to be stronger than peers given it borrowers are at higher end of the credit spectrum with an average FICO of roughly 750. And the recently approved bank charter should accelerate earnings growth in our view. As such, Chevrini rates so far stock uh, and outperform and uh, his uh, $15 price target makes a room for 12 month growth of 134%. And let me show you that other analysts also set uh, their price targets uh, for quite uh, high levels, from $12 all the way up to $17. This means uh, this asset from the analyst perspective is also very attractive. And let me show you another article. Uh, this article was published on Investor Place and it's titled SoFi stock could fall 36.5% to 80% of book value during a recession. And the main idea of this article is that uh, because of the increase of uh, interest rates, SoFi might suffer with the lack of customers uh, who want uh, to borrow the money. And I have to say that uh, I disagree with this uh, statement because uh, these type of companies like SoFi and even legacy banks are always in a better position than other companies because uh, uh, it doesn't matter what uh, is uh, 
the current interest rates because the economy cannot uh, be stopped immediately and that's why not so many people will uh, cancel their plans uh, to borrow money on top of that uh, SoFi benefit from the other side uh, of uh, this spectrum and uh, let me show you that on their official website they propose the highest APY of 1.25% uh, that is 41 times uh, higher than the national average and uh, definitely uh, with increasing in uh, interest rates uh, the APY will be also increased and uh, for now they have uh, even a 3% cashback and definitely these numbers will be increased as well and because of this SoFi will balance uh, their profitability and uh, their revenue. So, and that's why I think uh, this company is uh, quite stable from this standpoint. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, let me zoom out a little bit and let me show you that this movement to the downside has uh, some kind of curvature and uh, right here you can see that we have uh, something like this. Probably we might have uh, the bottom in upcoming sessions, probably in the range in between uh, May the 4th and uh, May the 10th. And uh, then we might have uh, some bounce to the upside and this will be a very good opportunity for swing traders to enter their position. And let me zoom out uh, even more. If I switch uh, to 4 hours time frame, let me show you that uh, we consistently have lower lows and lower highs from the end, from the middle of November 2021. This means we have to have some kind of uh, bounce to the upside that will unload this huge movement to the downside. And uh, we don't have uh, these bounces yet. Uh, right here we have a couple of spikes. This means uh, I think uh, the range of about uh, $6 mark is uh, very attractive from the investor standpoint even for a medium term perspective. And this means if you want to enter your swing trade position, just wait for the confirmation when we will see higher highs and higher lows. And on the retracement with the tight stop loss, you might enter your position. But if you want to invest in this asset and if you realize all the risks related to this company and if you know all the upside potential of this company as well, just accumulate your position on every daily red candle. And this approach will give you very attractive average price uh, that will uh, bring you a lot of uh, profits. So, I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder, cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I'll be